Emert International proudly presents the Trucking Job of the Year entry for the Specialized Carriers and Rigging Association. Emert International was awarded a contract to transport an accumulator drum from Oklahoma to Whiting, Indiana, a route consisting of 1,034 permitted miles and spanning the distance of five states. Emert's transportation crews overcame considerable challenges of steep grades, low clearances, railroad tracks, narrow roads, sharp turns, weather-related challenges, and a strict time schedule. Emmert's staff, in conjunction with their logistical team, conducted route surveys in various states, all working together to ensure the load with an overall dimension of 166 feet long, 19 feet 6 inches wide, 15 feet 8 inches high, and weighing 130,500 net cargo pounds, was able to travel the proposed route through Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. This load had many obstacles ahead due to the length, combined with the extreme width, making it somewhat challenging to get around many corners that had fixed objects. For this reason, the equipment that was selected by Emmert's team for this transport has the capability to independently steer the rear axles manually when conditions such as exit ramps, entrance ramps, parking areas, and truck stops exist. The extreme width of the load required that it be routed around any areas of road construction and that the front pilot car be on constant lookout for anything on the shoulders of the road or anything that may be obstructing a safe passage along the roadway. The pilot car would then communicate with the driver by two-way radio at what position on the road the load would need to be before it got to that area. Emmert arrived in Sand Springs, Oklahoma with the transportation equipment that was pre-assembled at Emmert International's terminal in Rome, Texas. It was discovered when the equipment arrived that the overhead crane's inside shop would not be able to lift the accumulator high enough to clear the transport beams. The accumulator had to be moved outside so that it could be loaded using a hydraulic crane. Very little time was lost since the equipment was already assembled and prepared for loading. The transport route consisted mainly of two-lane county and state roads, many of which were barely wide enough due to the extreme width of the load. Prior to the move, a route survey was performed in Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana to check the route for clearances on height and ensure the load would be able to clear around corners due to the overall dimension of the loaded equipment. Due to the height of the load, the transport would come to a slow walking speed at overpasses along the route that were considered a high risk and to avoid any issues such as an incorrectly marked overpass even after the pilot car with the high pole in the front of the load had cleared the overpass or overhead objects such as signals, wires, lights, and other utilities. After final inspection, the load departed Sand Springs, Oklahoma for its long journey. After the first day of travel, the load stopped for the night at Bartlesville, Oklahoma. The transport equipment and the load was checked by the driver and technicians to ensure that everything was operating correctly and that the load was riding safely in the saddles. Transport speed throughout the entire journey was kept to a safe maximum of 55 miles per hour when traffic and road conditions allowed or at the posted speed for the particular stretch of road that the load was traveling on. Emmert technicians monitored the transport throughout the move to support any issues that would arise that may require any mechanical repairs or adjustments along the route. The technicians would also operate the trailer when steering was required through tight corners and when raising or lowering the load was necessary during ground elevation changes. In some events, the load was raised or lowered to overcome roadside obstacles or overhead conditions existing at the time and helping to maintain the schedule. The load departed Bartlesville, Oklahoma with two state police and civilian escorts and continued on until they arrived at the Oklahoma-Kansas state line. Here, the transporter went through a rigorous detailed DOT inspection from the Kansas Department of Transportation. The inspection took several hours and consisted of checking tie downs, load securement, brake linings, tire tread depth, gearboxes for oil leaks, cracks and hubs, air brake tests, and checking for loose lugs. The driver's logbook and daily safety check log were also checked for accuracy and errors. After inspections were complete, Emmert received the go-ahead and continued on through Kansas, as there were no defects or issues with the transport trailer or truck.
Thanks to the ongoing high level of inspections that all of Emirates equipment goes through on a monthly basis, along with equipment checks for any defective parts prior to dispatch and after loading. Once at the Missouri state line, the load was inspected by the Missouri Department of Transportation and was verified to be in compliance with all requirements of the route permit and load securement. The load departed from the Kansas-Missouri state line and continued on the journey towards Whiting, Indiana. As the load arrived at the Illinois-Indiana state line, they were informed the client had made a last-minute change while the load was en route. They needed to change the destination by three city blocks. The change required a new route inspection by the state of Indiana and a new permit had to be issued even though nothing had changed on the route. The load remained parked at a staging area while another survey was performed and arrangements made with state and local police. The utility companies also provided bucket trucks to travel with the load in Indiana to lift any low-hanging wires along the route. Emmert personnel remained close to the load and made daily checks to ensure the load had not been tampered with. Meanwhile, having some extra time, Emmert personnel went to the job site in Whiting, Indiana and met with the client to survey the site and address any new issues prior to the arrival of the load. The load departed from the Illinois-Indiana line and made the trip across the Indiana portion in one day. The load was positioned on site for offloading the next day. The accumulator was offloaded and the transport equipment was disassembled and demobilized back to our terminal in Rome, Texas. Overall dimensions, length 166 feet, width 19 feet 6 inches, height 15 feet 8 inches, total net weight 130,500 net cargo, planning the job, two months planning, 24 hours of engineering, 132 hours of planning and coordination, permits and approvals, approvals from the states of Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana, along with the city, counties, and railroads. Physical elements encountered, weather conditions, road conditions, steep grades, low clearances, narrow roads, sharp turns, safety considerations, weather conditions that remained below freezing, traffic control, local radio stations and newspapers to notify public, no DOT violations. Execution, 380 man hours on the job. Ingenuity and innovations, use of suspension beams, modified existing hangars to reduce transport height, overcoming offset center of gravity. Loss prevention, no accidents, no injuries, no incidents, no property damage, no structural damage, no cargo damage, no equipment damage. Schedule, ahead of schedule and within budget. Contract, lump sum, firm fixed price. Emmert International strives to have the highest quality in safety, professionalism, engineering, logistics and craftsmanship. All operations were safely performed under the care, custody, and control of Emmert International.